We know many of you are concerned about using premium or regular gasoline, but we should always be concerned about gas consumption. In this video, we'll be showing you how to calculate gas consumption. What is MPG? What is MPGE? What is liters per 100 kilometers? And what is kilometers per liter? So what is miles per gallon, MPG? So it's the number of miles driven per gallon of gasoline consumed. So if a vehicle is rated at 30 miles per gallon, 38 MPG, what it means is you've driven 38 miles and it used one gallon of gasoline. So how do you calculate MPG? This seems to be a very simple thing. First thing is you fill up your gas tank all the way. The second thing is if you have a trip odometer, you reset it. And then you drive as normal. And then when it's time to fill up again, you fill up the gas and you record the number of gallons filled. So then you take the trip odometer number, divide that by the number of gallons filled. We'll give you the miles per gallon. And for the fellow Canadians or anybody using kilometers and liters, this is the same method to calculate the kilometers per liters. So when you surf the web and you look at miles per gallon and you see different numbers for, different, for the same vehicle, why is that? Because the US has their own version of gallon versus the imperial gallon. So you would see that one imperial gallon is actually 4.546 liters but the US gallon is only 3.785. So when you look at the comparison, the NX350H all-wheel drive in the US has a combined of 39 miles per gallon, and in the UK, it ranges from 44.1 to 47 miles per gallon. And that is why there's a difference. So don't take the UK numbers and apply them to the US because they will not work out. So what is liters per 100 kilometers? This is a different measurement that's commonly used in Canada and anywhere that actually uses liters. It's amount of gasoline used for traveling 100 kilometers. So in reverse of what MPG is, where it says miles per gallon, this is really more of the number, the amount of gasoline per 100 kilometers driven. I just went over measurements used to measure efficiency when using gasoline fuel. Miles per gallon, kilometers per liter, or liters per 100. When it comes to measuring fuel efficiency of hybrid and electric vehicles, we use MPGE as opposed to the standard miles per gallon. So what is MPGE? MPGE stands for Miles Per Gallon Equivalent. As we discussed earlier, traditional MPG measures how many miles your vehicle is able to travel using one gallon of gasoline. And since hybrid and fully electric vehicles don't always use gasoline to operate, MPGE is more useful metric for comparing energy consumption for these electrified vehicles. The Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, in the U.S. established MPGE as an energy efficient metric in 2010 with the mission to relate the amount of energy used by alternate fuel vehicles in comparison to traditional gas powered vehicles. And in the U.S. it's required to have the Moroni sticker or window sticker for all new vehicles and on that sticker it actually displays the efficiency, and the MPG or the MPGE information. In order to create the MPGE, the EPA used an established energy standard, British Thermal Units, BTU, and what they did was they took 115,000 BTU per gallon of gasoline. 
This means that if you use one US gallon of unleaded gasoline, it would generate that much heat. To create the same amount of heat, 33.7 kilowatt hours of electricity would be required. So with that, it means one gallon of gasoline generates the same energy of 33.7 kilowatt hours of electricity. So this comparison is actually very important to calculate MPGE. So an example is an electric vehicle is able to travel 100 miles on 33.7 kilowatt hours of electricity. So when we use this formula, it actually means that this vehicle can have a rating of 100 miles per gallon equivalent. And then if we make another comparison and the vehicle actually drives 100 miles, but it only uses 32 kilowatt hours. So at the end, the MPGE will be 105, which shows that it is more efficient. So the higher the number of the MPGE, the more efficient the vehicle is. So the NX450H Plus efficiency is rated at 40 kilowatt hours per 100 miles, which means based on this calculation, it would be 84.3 miles per gallon equivalent. So how do you calculate MPGE? So right here we have a formula for electric vehicles only. So MPGE equals to the miles driven, divide that by the miles driven, multiply that by the energy efficiency of the battery, divide that by 3370, which is the 33.7 kilowatt hour number. So now we're going to talk about the MPGE for a plug-in hybrid. Because a plug-in hybrid has EV mode and gasoline, which is hybrid mode, there are a little bit different in calculation. So you see here that MPGE equals to the miles on battery plus the mileage on gasoline. And then you divide that by the mileage on battery multiplied by the efficiency of the battery divided by 3370. Then you also add on top the miles on gasoline divided by the miles per gallon on the hybrid gas only calculation. So I'm now going to use the NX for an example. So the MPGE equals to 37 plus zero, which means I did not drive any gasoline. Divide that by 37, multiply by 40 kilowatt hours. Divide that by 3370 plus zero, no gas used. Divide by the combined MPG, which is 36 MPG, which gives you 84.25. So when you see the Moroni sheet, it does say 84 MPGE. Uh, in our calculation, it's actually 84.25 MPGE. And we took the number of 40 kilowatt hours per 100 miles, and we used 37 as the number of miles on electricity. And that's where we got the 84.25. So now we're back to the spreadsheet time. And now I've actually used the same formula and created an Excel spreadsheet um, that actually does the calculations for us. So you can see here, this first part is really based on electricity only. So the examples I provided in the video, 100 miles on battery and the efficiency is 34, and I get 100 MPGE. The next example was 105 with 32, and it's now 105.3. So let me actually just give you an extra decimal there. There you go. So then the NX is 37 miles on battery at 40 kilowatt hours per 100 miles, which gives us 84.3 miles per gallon equivalent. And now the formula that includes the gasoline. So using the same numbers, you would see that if I did not use any gasoline, it does bring me the same values. So this is my personal record right now, which actually is 102.7 miles per gallon equivalent. Uh, but this is actually converted from liters per hundred um, and kilometers to miles to get this calculation. So 
52.3 miles is the max I've actually achieved using EV mode. And based on the computer on the com uh, computer on the car, it's 32.8 kilowatt hours per 100 miles, which gave me 102.7. So then here, if I actually take, if, if we say that you drive 42 miles on battery and that you would drive another 40 miles on gasoline. And if we use the base 40 kilowatt hours per 100, your MPGE would be 50.9 miles per gallon equivalent. We do the same thing. We say 42 and 40, but now I would say that I'll use the more efficient number that I achieve, which is 32.8 kilowatt hours per 100. And that will give you 54 miles per gallon equivalent. So this is how the formula is done, and this is how we actually get the calculations of MPGE. So what is LE per 100 kilometers? That's quite simple. It's liters equivalent per 100 kilometers, which is very similar to liters per 100 kilometers. And that is very commonly used in Canada. So the calculation is quite simple. We take the one US gallon, which is equal to 33.7 kilowatt hours that we've used previously, and we take that, so one US gallon, divide that by 3.785. So remember the diagram that I had, one US gallon equals to 3.785 liters. So we take that and multiply that by 33.7 kilowatt hours, which then gives you 8.9 kilowatt hours as the comparison of one liter equals to 8.9 kilowatt hours. We also verify that with Transport Canada on their website and you read the last paragraph to help compare vehicles that use electricity, a conversion factor is used to convert electricity energy consumption values. Express in kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers into gasoline liters equivalent per 100 kilometers. One liter of gasoline contains the energy equivalent to 8.9 kilowatt hours of electricity. So now we've talked about MPGE, now let's talk about the Canadian side. Liters equivalent per 100 kilometers. So based on the formula, one liter of fuel is 8.9 kilowatt hours. And then based on the efficiency, so if your car says it's 24.7, then it's 2.8 liters equivalent per 100 kilometers, which is what the NX is rated at, which when you convert it back to miles, it's 39.8. So it looks like it was rounded up for the US um, kilowatt hour per 100 miles. So then if you have different efficiencies, so I've seen 20.6 on my vehicle, which is 2.3 liters equivalent per 100 kilometers. The best I've received on my vehicle was 18.9, which is 2.1 liter equivalent per 100 kilometers. And when you look at 18.9, the battery capacity is 18.1. So if this was really possible, and if you use all the battery, you would have been able to drive 100 kilometers of pure EV range, almost, right? 18.1, 18.9. But in reality, you do not use the full 18.1 kilowatt hour battery because there is some reserve for the hybrid system and all the other stuff that you're being used. So this is a very simple formula because it's just taking your efficiency and dividing that by the 8.9 kilowatt hour to get the liter equivalent per 100 kilometers. You can also press that bell icon to get alerted when new videos are out. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Cheers.